me now is Eugène Dessange. He's a member of the Canadian Parliament and a former Minister of Health there. Senator McConnell, let's start with him. He says Canadians don't treat old people for certain procedures. That's a heck of a thing for a senator to say. Is it true? Absolutely untrue. Decision as to whether or not certain procedures ought to be carried out uh, for a particular patient, uh, those decisions are made by doctors uh, uh, in the hospitals and uh, doctors don't make that decision based on money or no money, unlike the United States of America. So it's absolutely not true that absolutely. age is ever taken into account? Well, you know, age and condition may be taken well, into I'm account not, I, I, with, I, I with get, respect I, to a particular I, listen, procedure. I, I get condition. There's times when a, if a person is like so frail that operating on them or giving them a certain treatment might make them worse Absolutely. you have to weigh things but that's not what he said we're talking about age I, I, age alone absolute nonsense all right here's another one for you critics say that in canada you have to wait forever to see a doctor or schedule surgery and there is person after person who has said that they know somebody there who will share that antidote with them is that is that true is it true in part is it true <laughs> it, at all it, it, it is untrue substantially. Uh, the fact is that nine out of ten uh, Canadians have uh, permanent doctors that they go to. Uh, and the fact is that, uh, that if you are in a, in a queue waiting for surgery, if you have a heart attack, you'll get to the front of the line. If you have a broken leg, you may have to wait a day or two. I think those decisions are made all the time at hospitals by specialists and by doctors. And those decisions are made based not on money that somebody can pay or not pay because so, ultimately the government is the insurer. So you're saying there is a way but it's on an individual basis. It depends on the case. But is it different? There are times there are times when you have to wait in the United States as well. Absolutely. Would you say yours your weight is is larger than our weight as as many well, have said? Well for, for for some things it might be for instance if you have a for instance, you know, you need to have your eyes checked or you want to uh, see an ophthalmologist, uh, it might take you two or three weeks. You want to see somebody with respect to your knee, a specialist, it might take you three or four weeks to see a specialist. Uh, but if you are in excru excruciating pain and you have a heart attack, you'll be going to the front of the line. I think that, that those, are, those are things that happen even in private practice. I just got a tweet from uh, one of your uh, healthcare professionals there. He is a EMT. In, in Canada who tells me he's really happy with the with the system he thinks it works great and he's par proud to be a part of it but he also told me in this tweet and it's not this one Robert it's one I read before I went to favorites over here but he said you know what our problem is we don't have enough doctors we need doctors what is it possible let me finish that you're undergoing a brain drain over there because the doctors are so underpaid they're leaving to practice here in the United States where they can make more money what, what doctors are not that underpaid. The fact is, yes, in the United States of America, in private practice, you could make uh, a little more money. Uh, but the fact is that we, in fact, I'm told, have sufficient number of doctors. The problem is they all want to practice in the urban centers. So in the rural areas, we have fewer doctors. And, you know, th there is a worldwide shortage of doctors. And, in fact, the United States of America is doing a much better job of bringing in the international medical graduates and letting them practice, whereas in, in Canada, we have 10 jurisdictions and they have 10 different procedures, and it takes much longer for an international medical graduate to begin to practice hmm. in Canada. So there are some disadvantages. This is good, and, and I think people appreciate you taking these tough questions because this is a very important part of the conversation that we're going through right now in the United States. So you're really the perfect guest for this. Let me hit you with another uh, fastball here maybe a little bit of a curve on it. Why do many Canadians who are very sick and need specialized care forego, forego your plan, if it's so great, and come to the United States instead? Well, you know, in, in Canada, just as in uh, any place where there, there's universal care, certain procedures may not be available because they are not part of the medically necessary procedures. If you have a medically necessary procedure, which is prescribed by uh, various provinces, you will get that in Canada. If you want something far and above and beyond what is allowed in Canada, you may search far and wide. Some of them may go to the U.S., but there are, those are exceptions. That's not the mm. rule. Uh, here's a question that's coming off our tweet board here. This is what, Sun Devil Sal? Must be from Arizona, or Arizona State, which is it? Uh, he says, I'm not an expert on Canadian healthcare system. Ask him if they cover illegal aliens. If not, 
Who pays for their uh, health care coverage? I mean, if, if you are an illegal alien in Canada, you go to the hospital, uh, you need uh, urgent care, they don't ask you questions. I've had uh, friends uh, who have visited this country and have had no insurance coverage. They've gotten sick and they've gotten into the hospital. Yes, we try and collect the bills afterwards. The government tries. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. But you're not asked to pay up front. I was uh, talking to a lot of small business owners this weekend, and they all told me they're getting killed with what they have to pay for each, especially the small business, not like the big corporations like the one I work for, where they have to pay hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars for each employee of theirs for their health care plans. Uh, if you're a small business owner in Canada, do you have to pay that? Well, in any way? Do, how, do they get, how do they get you to pay into the, into the system? Well, well, small business owner doesn't pay. It's, it's the health premiums in some provinces that, that individuals pay out of their wa wages. In other provinces, you don't. Uh, you pay through taxes, by and large. The income tax takes care of that. Uh -huh. and, 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 how big, and how big is that? Well, it's, it's significantly perhaps larger than the United States of America. But then I don't have to pay when my child gets sick or I get sick and I have to go to the doctor or the hospital. I pay absolutely nothing. And I think that's the most important thing. You can live worry-free. You can lose a job in British Columbia, go to Ontario, Ottawa, find a job. The insurance coverage would be available to you no matter where you go. Uh, that's why, in fact, some of the, uh, uh, men, uh, some of the employers prefer places like Canada and the United States of America because there's a huge health care bill for the employers mm. if they have to cover their employees. In yeah. Canada, the government assists with that, and we all pay taxes to support that system. By the way, we should uh, let you know and let our audience know as well that we tr tried to invite Mitch McConnell, who had, who had made the charge about the uh, Canadian system, uh, to be with us during this uh, interview. But he was unable to do so. Uh, we hear from his people that his schedule didn't allow him because he had to vote. But certainly we'll continue to try and get him uh, back on. Maybe we'll get the two of you together. If, if I, you... I'd be absolutely delighted. That, you know, that's very nice. Uh, Ujjal Dessange, uh, member of the Canadian Parliament, former Minister of Health, so he knows what he's talking about, who uh, took time to take the heat here for us this today as Americans try and find out what kind of health system we should get. Uh, Mr. Minister, thanks so much for joining us, sir. Thank you very much. All right.